Hey you folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Football Manager 2017. It is the third season of Air United, and today we meet Aberdeen Football Club in the quarterfinals of the Betfred Cup. We have a couple of changes. We actually had a bit of a falling out with uh, Tom Pope. He never did get satisfied that we... Um, we gave him enough first team football, which actually seems kind of insane to me, because as far as I can tell, I was giving him a ton, but maybe he wanted like almost like 95% of it, but uh, couldn't meet there, had a falling out, blah, 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 terminated his contract. He is gone. And you know what? I think that's fine. That actually improves our financial situation a fair bit, because uh, he was a fairly uh, highly paid member of the club. It does mean we are lacking a uh, second target man that's, you know, really appropriate for the role, but I actually don't think that's going to hold us back too much. We're hoping to improve our finances a fair bit. The board is being hammered uh, a little bit, so we'll see how it goes. Anywho, uh, we are going to be going in. We're playing at home, so we're going to be playing with our 4-3-2-1 narrow um, formation over here. We're going to play on standard mentality as opposed to a control, which is often the way I've done it. We do have the ability to get a proper... Um, whoops comparison now between the two teams and you can see again like the valuation difference is insane our average player value 22,000 their average player value 825,000 um so even going with just a standard mentality is honestly maybe a little eager but I mean we're gonna have to score some points on this one this is not like we want to grind it down to a draw um like we would in the premier league and be quite happy with that here if we grind it up to a draw we'll go to penalties and then probably lose against a superior team so we do have to take a few chances and that is going to be done with standard mentality a couple of shadow strikers over here and we'll see how it goes maybe it's the right way to go maybe it's not i don't know i've only met them once we had a draw that was probably some time ago a little maybe a drizzly um not the uh, warmest but i um, mean should mean our energy level should be okay not as many tickets sold as we might like but um i don't know i guess people aren't as interested in the quarter cup as opposed to the uh premiership t uh, league games against uh um uh, the Hibs, for example. Um, conditions pretty good. A couple of people at 94. Could be a little higher, but we're, it's gonna it's gonna have to do here. I'm mostly worried about what our next game is gonna be. Morale's not as high as we would like. Hopefully we'll get a nice rousing speech going into this to make up for the fact that we've had a bit of a kerfuffleage and drama with the team with uh, Tom Pope. That's one of the things in FM 2018 that'll be interesting to see is the new ways that um, there are sort of cliques that get formed. Different players are more or less influential than others. Uh, might make certain things more difficult, but at the same time, it gives you a way to be a little bit more uh, controlling of some of the mood. Um, yeah, yeah, totally. Of course we can score a goal on this guy. Um, yeah, and our goalie's awesome. Yes, he's super excellent. Uh, we're actually on a pretty good winning streak. Um, in fact, there's some Betfred Cup record potential things that could happen here as well, which is kind of interesting because we're on a big undefeated streak because uh, the quote-unquote losses we've had have been losses in penalties. So we haven't had an outright loss in the Betfred Cup in apparently 11 games. And if we were to not lose here, which... In the quarterfinals, it's even possible that a draw that goes to penalties would count as that. That might technically be a record-breaking. I mean, we don't have a, a big winning streak. We just have a not losing streak. So, um, they're going to be playing with a couple of strikers. I know that last name. Like, Rooney is a big thing in football, but I don't think that's the Rooney guy, right? That's I'm thinking of someone else. Something, probably. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming he's not only worth 750000 I Again, I don't know foot soccer ball, so... Uh, I apologize. Um, interesting structure. This actually might be the sort of thing that would work out fairly well for ourselves as well. Um, not too dissimilar to some of the things we're trying with both our four three two one as well as our uh, as well as our five three two, for example. But uh, we'll go with this. Um, in terms of stats, I mean, these guys must be insanely quick. I mean, we don't know exactly what their numbers are. Well, this Rooney guy is not super fast, so let's apply advice to team. Um, I agree with the tight marking here. Uh, maybe we'll close them down quite quickly over here. Some tackle hards, but not any of the strikers, which I'm kind of okay with. Continue to team talk. All right. I'm going to be assertive about this. Um, I expect a win tonight. Okay. Let's well, faith in you. Yeah, we're not having as much of an impact. I mean, oh, well, that's still working. Okay. Because we may have to mix it up a little bit, but mm, not bad. A fair amount of morale has been moved up into the green, so hopefully that's going to be okay. 
Let's start the match. You can see a few raindrops coming down. We are going to start with possession in this first half. Get the ball over to Calum Crane, who is able to bring it up to Paul Kearney, who holds on to it for a little bit longer, but he couldn't find someone to pass it to. He kept getting squeezed further and further to the side and really nowhere to go, although Andy Giggins is going to be able to get the ball there. It just looks like a mostly failed pass attempt rather than an outright um, interception. Uh, Fortis does head forward to Jamie Thomas, oh, who couldn't quite catch up to the ball enough to get his foot on it. But we're still on the offense, amazingly. Tony Ralston fails to move it upwards. Happens back to Ralston, who's going to try probably to send it up to one of our advanced attack midfielders. Jamie Thomas, the target man. Oh my god! A pa that pass off of one of the Aberdeen players almost resulted in a really good play. Yeah, clear-cut chance, I have to say. That could have easily, one minute into the match, we could have been up a point. That was so goddamn close. I really want to win here. Like, that... This is like, well, because we're not going to go anywhere if we don't win. <laughs> a draw, we'll probably lose in penalties. Not guaranteed, but probably. So we really do have to be, you know, we've got to get lucky early and then maybe, you know, switch to our defensive thing once they've adapted to it. So far, possession's been good. It's very early on, but it still keeps being quite good. Uh, we've got extended highlights. Yeah, I think that's fine. Fortis keeps it in. Abu Adams to Tony Ralston trying to reset back. Back to Adams, is going to be nice and wide. Can he set up a cross? Not really. Gets taken away. And, in fact, possession is going to stay with Aberdeen. No! Abu Adams takes the ball away. He's one of our ball-winning midfielders. His uh, ability to um, to take the ball away is really good. That's what he's there for. So he proves it there. Maybe some of his passing is a little bit weaker. Tony Ralston over here. His passing and crossing is a little bit better. He's having a hard time finding someone. you got to get rid of that ball, buddy. Just reset it to one of the central defenders. Well, that's a midfielder, but that's fine. There we go. Ricky Lammy sends it deep towards Jamie Thomas, who... Oh! I think Jamie had lost that header, possibly, but we should be able to catch that. Daryl Magat grabs the ball, centers it up. Ooh, that's not good. Giving up possession. That's a possible shot attempt from range. Does get deflected away, but it's going to lead to a corner. I'm actually a little bit disappointed there that uh, Monsieur Savage, Sauvage could not actually just hold on to the ball. These are the ways, these are the places where we lose here. These are so scary. It looks like Ricky Lamy does knock it away. The, uh, the defense is going to have to continue for us. But some of the danger has been sent back. Shinny Crane clears it to Kearney. No, not quite. That is an outright interception of the headed pass. Back over to Shinny, who tries to center it to Antonana Banana Revo. Instead, it's Jamie Thomas. Now, he's still a little, little bit alone, but no, the Shadow Strikers have moved up, but ball mostly gets taken away. Fraser gets it to Daryl Fortis. Excellent. I don't think he's going to take a shot from there. Sends it wide to Tony Ralston, who's going to try to cross it. Uh, falls short of uh, Paul Kearney, though, unfortunately. It was quite a bit of a lob pass. Um, one of the things I think we should do is actually switch back to whipped crosses, but I don't think I'll do it mid-game here. I'm just worried because we're still on, we're on the default, so it's going to be mixed. Um, oh, that's going to be a throw-in for us. That'll be okay. But yeah, the whip crosses seem to do pretty well for us. Just some more of that going on. So we're 25 minutes in. We outshot them only three to one. It's been, you know, a lot of action in the midfield this game. Not a lot of execution on the actual shots on net. Jamie Thomas is sent back to Tony Ralston. Up to Daryl Fortis, who can get it centered to Paul Kearney. He doesn't really have a shot there. I think he tried, though, and just gave it up. This, i got to say, this defense is proving to be quite difficult to pierce. And there are a lot... They do have a pretty heavy um, presence in the, uh, the center, right? With that defensive midfielder. And maybe that is going to counter what we're doing here. Daryl Fortis, actually, that was an excellent shot on. That's our second clear-cut chance. 5-1 to one on the shots. I mean, I, I, our, I guess our defense is really working. Like, their defense is working fairly well, although not as well as our own. Uh, that was a bit of a dump, which... You know what? Get it out of the danger zone. That's okay. Even if there's no one there to take it, at least it resets things a little bit and makes us, gives us some breathing room. Dowling's moving forward to Irvine. Irvine's going to get it over to Shinny for big cross to the center. But uh, Lamy does get his foot on it. Gets it to Tony Ralston, who sends it deep to Jamie Thomas. But unfortunately, that, that, that was a proper interception. That was the guy like, well, you're just sitting around waiting for the ball. I'll get in front of you, and that's going to be okay. This is a little bit scary. Goes wide. Failed shot by Rooney. Fairly far to the right of the net. Giving us a goal kick over here. 
Uh, Shinny is getting a lot of space for his crosses. And maybe what we do want to do, in fact, I kind of agree with that idea, to be honest, because we keep seeing him get a lot of action. Uh, we're going to close him down a little bit faster when he gets there. We've already got tackle hard. We'll see how that goes. All right, failed free kick over there, goes over. Derek Fortis has delivered on a few of those before, I'm pretty sure. Not this season, but in the past. We've got our own free kick a little further away. Again, Daryl Ford has taken it. Gigan, Magat, Crane. He's got a couple of centering targets, but he's being uh, he's being boxed in quite a bit. They might have like a show on something foot for that. Thomas does get it to Ebu Adams. Fraser can get it to Daryl Fortis. We've got two people there, which might mean a few openings. Like, there's a lot of sort of two-on-one kind of defensive section. Centers it to Thomas, who is tall, gets his head on it, makes the jump check, but fails his to-hit roll against the fairly big net. I mean, that's actually super disappointing. Shots are 9-2. to two. It's talking about the, the you know, long-range efforts. I'm not entirely convinced that, that is true, actually. I don't think work ball in the box would make much of a difference for us. And honestly, against the defense here, I think we're quite happy to take the number of shots that we're just taking. Fortis with another shot on. That was beautifully on target, actually. Just one hand deflecting it away, giving us a corner. 10-2. to two. We just got to get one goddamn shot in the net. Possession 58%. We might want to go to a full-out control, although why, why, why ch make a change? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. See what happens in the second half. They might go and make some fairly uh, significant changes to their um, their defensive setup or offensive setup. And then we might want to start making some modifications. Um, I'm going to be quite assertive about this. Come on. If we can get a goal, we can do it. I'll, I'll be assertive over here. Um, hmm. I don't know if I want to say I'm not happy with your... I guess I am. I'm not happy with your finishing. All right. Fired up. Midfielders. Aren't that bad, but you can still improve. Um, defense, honestly. You've been pretty good. I'll be passionate about it. Um, solid defensive work. Okay, it didn't upset them. So many times when you say good things, people get cranky as fuck. Okay. No changes yet. Again, it's, it's still working. They might be making some modifications. Especially around the time when they might start doing substitution that might be tied into a slight change in how some of their player like positions might be doing, right? Like if they sub out, you know, could be subbing out a box-to-box -box midfielder for a ball-winning midfielder or something like that and adjust the tactics accordingly. And that could have a pretty decent vibe. Thomas gets it over to Daryl Fortis, who is going to send it back. It was either going to be a, a, a pretty far shot or you're going to have to reset it. Thomas pinned in. Does get Kearney, who's got a bit of an angle. A little too high, a little bit too far to the right. But I think it was worth a shot attempt there. I mean, we could try to encourage people to walk in more. We could look for more overlap with the defenders. Whoa! That was a beautiful free kick from Daryl Fortis. Curving ball would have been on target as well, that bottom right corner. I mean, the goalkeeper was able to stop it, but can't criticize him too much for that. Okay, substitutions are happening. I can't... I, I think we've got to keep going with the, the stats. And I'm tempted to go more aggressive. All right, we're going to go to control. Out of a little bit of desperation. We might give something up. What are you going to do? Um, performance hasn't been as great from our Shadow Strikers here. I don't think we go to the actual 4-3-3 wide. But I'm wondering, like, if these Shadow Strikers aren't working... Well, I mean, they're getting plenty of shots. And a lot of them have been pretty bit dead on target. I, I think I think the formation is still okay. We don't have much in the way of substitutes over here as part of the problem. What if we put Gary Fraser to his classic box-to-box um, -box midfielder? Almost acting like a third Shadow Striker. That might be a little too insane. That might be a little too insane. I mean, plan B is you go to this, right? And we go to the uh, Thomas McGuffey pairing. Um, I don't know if we leave Daryl Fortis in on something. He doesn't really play any other positions. Right, Thomas McGuffey, um, take out Kearney for Tom Flanagan, something like that. 
And then I think actually we do switch Fa uh, Fraser to box to box midfielder, give him a little bit more opportunity to roam, possibly in in the forward half over here, right? Or entering the final third is the, I guess the other way to word it. We're at two substitutions. We bring in McGuffey for a complete different shooting style. Jimmy Thomas is getting quite tired, um, and we don't have a substitute for him, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, that might put a little bit more emphasis on Craig and a little bit less running. Um, this was set up originally to be a defensive thing, right? But we could play it, you know, I might keep it still standard, but then encourage the wings, especially Caelan Crane, who's very happy to attack. And both wings put them a little bit more tacky like this. Change the direction from where the threats come from. And any opposition instructions they put in have basically been completely invalidated here. Our comfort with this tactic should be relatively okay. We still have one substitute left. I mean, we do have a half an hour left in this game. All right, let's do that. Uh, the one downside is that if we do get a penalties, Daryl Fortis and Paul Kearney are both good penalty takers. But I guess we're going to have to just go and do this. What we could do is save our final substitute for... Oh, there's probably overtime in this. Yeah, okay, never mind. So we'll, we'll keep taking relatively reasonable decisions. If it was going to be penalty kicks after 90 minutes, then like on the 89th minute, I could sub out a decent kicker for one of our defenders or something like that. But no, here we're going to wait a little bit longer. No, you know what now? It's going to be fine because we've got some tiredness. Ebu's getting pretty tired. We've got some pretty good subs for the midfield. We've got a lot of options in the midfield. Let's bring in Robbie Crawford over here. Um, Unless we want to bring a... Hang on. You're the most tired, but... Maybe this works out better, actually. Yeah. Let's do that. Fresh legs, the ability to roam. Okay. Our possession is still high. I'm still... Uh, we, we're not going to make too many other chain... Well, I mean, we can't make any other substitutions. Um, although, I, again, I don't know if this implements new Scottish rules. I don't think it does. In, in Scottish football, in tournament play! Oh my god, that was so freaking close. It's got to be a third clear-cut chance one. Um, and a corner. In Scottish tournament play, in extra time, you do get a fourth substitution, but I don't think it's in this version of Football Manager. Maybe FM18 will have it. McGat with the header! Oh, it goes wide! Doesn't get touched, so it's going to be a goal kick. A 16-3! to three. What does a guy have to do to get the ball in the goddamn net? Jamie Thomas taking the free kick, going well wide. Yeah, Daryl Fortis is out, so our free kicking priority is a little bit more skewed than we might like. Shinny taking the corner. Does get cleared by McGath, but only partially. Ooh, then bounces off there. Looks like they're going to stay on the offense, but it is going to give this opportunity to get a bit of space between us and the goal. We might be able to intercept a pass here and go on a sudden offense. No, nope, we've got a bit of a cluster there, though. Um, goes wide to Hayes, who's pretty open. He's going to have... Oh, my God! Tony Ralston just blocks the freaking um, cross with his head. Two minutes out of time. Well, we're definitely going into extra time over here with some very exhausted people. Listen... Um, I'm going to say again, one goal, this will be enough for us to win it. Seem to gain confidence. I'm not going to overdo it any more than this. I wish our people weren't so completely exhausted everywhere. I would love to do another... Let me just check. I don't think it's enabled, though. Would you let me do... Nope. That is damn shame. Might not be all tournaments either, right? It might only be in some of them. But that is the Scottish... As far as I understand it, that is the just the Scottish foot soccer ball rules now and i think that's good i mean i agree that like too many substitutions is you know maybe too crazy it gets rid of the nature of the sport but that extra time that starts to be a lot you're looking for a lot of injuries whoop and it is just an extra strategic element substitutions are one of the most interesting strategic parts of of the sport to me especially in football manager right like and i assume in real life as well i don't know because i don't again no idea um but Football Manager, how to use your substitutes, is fantastic. Um, and so getting an extra opportunity to do that in the extra time adds that extra depth. On the other hand, this way you have to think about extra time with your third sub. Gagan. Adams. Adams to Crawford. Back here. We're in standard instead of control. 
which honestly I think is actually maybe okay here because I feel like with everyone being tired I'm more nervous about mistakes happening and so not being quite as insanely aggressive might actually be better although if we get into the last 10 minutes I will probably go very attacky whoa there's a nice opening McGuffey <sighs> save into a corner that was oh my god 18 shots on we're out shooting three to one okay daryl mcgat uh i don't know if that's the way we want to take corner he's quite tall with the heading stuff that was actually just a very poor corner i may have to make some explicit changes here the set piece oh almost got on i don't know who that was mcguffey oh he's so close to have maybe gotten his feet on that but it's going to be another corner you can see all the air supporters in their striped shirts Calum Crane, very high up. Flanagan tries to go it, but it's too far. The, the goalkeeper is able to just run out and grab it. He does start it off the kick, and we are done the first half of extra time. Remember, people are getting exceptionally tired, including Jamie Thomas over here. Um, let's start the second half. I mean, the statistics are still way in our favor, but yeah, we're going to go to control. Maybe not attacking, but we'll go up to control. It already feels like we're playing a pretty controlly thing, but yeah, we'll go a little further ahead. Because I don't want to go, I do not want to go to penalty kicks. Or penalties, I suppose I should say. That's that's the right way to, to say it, right? The Britishy way to penalties? I don't know. The foot soccer ball way? Alright, we got to take possession here at some point. Come on, boys. That's that shinny guy. Oh, gets deflected. That will be a corner, though, for them. Which is quite terrifying. Let's take a moment and um, take a look at our set piece. Ooh, pause, please. Um, I mean, the game does a pretty good job of setting the, the using the set pieces, but um, I don't want Ricky to take it. So yeah, I think here. Nah. 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 But it's not our goalkeeper. That, I mean, that's possible, I suppose. It seems a little crazy. It's probably super crazy. Um, and then that's why Daryl McGat was taking it over there. Um. You know, I'll get Caleb Crane to do it instead. That's going to be okay. And free kicks. Like, yeah, we don't have much in the way of great free kickers. Here, let's get Robbie in there. Um, Ricky's sort of a center player, so I think he could probably go ahead and do it on both sides. Um, that's going to be okay. All right. We'll do that for the future. No other specific changes. So Lammy clears it with his head. Flanagan wins the race-ish. Okay, there. He's got possession. Sends it forward just more or less blindly. Craig McGuffey still has lots of energy. And his raw, like, physicality, like, in terms of just speed, is the one thing that we can hope for. Big crossover to Thomas, who I think got his head on there. I think that was him. I don't know. It's hard to tell who exactly punted that way off target. Maybe it was a couple people intersecting it you can see our passes are getting more and more and more off target here and i think that's going to be a lot of the exhaustion effect and i don't know if we should go to a shorter passing game or maybe a longer one shorter might be a little easier to complete our passes um but a longer one might mean a little bit less running which might be good austin adams centers it to crawford up to jamie thomas i think mcguffey would have been offside there so i think that's why there was no pass in that direction Adams holds the ball up for a second, gets it over to Crawford. Oh! A foul! We haven't gotten a single card yet. Which actually, you know what it's telling me? We can be a little bit more aggressive with our tackles. Come on. That's, this is the tackling thing. Um, I mean, just going more and more attacking actually tends to make these more aggressive regardless. Okay. Yeah, we'll go a little bit more aggressive because this referee does not seem to be particularly... A lot of fouls, but not much in the way of cards. Might cause us problems. Magat sends it forward. Thomas isn't in the right place. Yeah, this exhaustion level is really getting nutty. Slide tackle. Megat blocks with his head. Abu Adams clears it a little further, but unfortunately no one there to pick it up. We haven't had a shot on in a while. 
Maybe we should just go back to standard. There's a bunch of things we could consider doing. <sighs> Come on. Nope. Way too high to intercept. McLean with a shot from a mile away. Goes well over. Um, so if it's... So we still have nine minutes, right? Because it's 15 minutes per, so it's going to be 120 is the normal ending of this. Shinny. Corner gets cleared by, I think, yeah, Thomas. Ball gets deflected away. It's going to be a throw-in for them. Okay, not a corner, just slightly less dangerous. Come on. I mean, I don't want to go full attacking. We've been a little too pinned down for that. We've got too much exhaustion. Well, somehow they did get another corner out of the resulting play. Goes over. It's a goal kick for us with uh, four or five minutes left probably in here, depending on what the uh, timekeeper does. Lamy with the throw-in. Gigan gets it over to Crane. Crane looking for a target in front of the net. Gets it to Jamie Thomas. Crawford maybe has a chance to take a shot here. Lewis gets his hand on it. Going to lead to a corner with two to three minutes probably left in time. Come on. Get it in there. This is insane. This is insane. I got to say, like while I'm kind of complaining that I haven't been recording any of our winning games, this has been a really tense one. Daryl Magat attempts to get it uh, centered up. It is going to be a throw-in for us, at least. Although, from a little further away than we might like. So, Lammy with the throw-in. Makes sense. He's on top of the list. Over to Thomas. Thomas going to look to get it in front of the net. Uh, looks like Ebu should be able to pick it up here. Whoa! Decides to do a triple sow cow. Uh, does eventually get the ball, though. Tony Ralston up to Robbie Crawford. Robbie to Andy Yeagan. Probably to Jamie Thomas over there. Yep. McGuffey keeps trying to go a little for forward, see if we can get it there. I wonder if we should just do a pump ball into box. And you know what? And then hope that, um, it's maybe a little late for this. But then hope that uh, McGuffey can win one of those races. I kind of like, you know what? Can't, hold on, cancel. Um, instructions. Pump ball into box, route one. There's like two seconds left here, which is... Just, I don't even know if we'll get a, a chance to make a change, but... Be more expressive. Go. Go. Alone, this will only come up there as a whistle. McGuffey gets his feet on it. Hayes decides to not let it go to one of their throw-ins, which is interesting. 19-9 to on the shots. Flanagan keeps up the offense. Akins. Ooh, Irvine's a little on his own. Oh, big slide tackle there. And clean as well by Lammy. Thank you very much for that. And we still haven't done the changes. Okay, the changes have kicked in, but this is going to be the whistle. This is going to be the time. The drama of penalties. I don't want the drama of penalties. Penalties are bad. If we just auto-pick, that's probably going to be fine, right? Um, I mean, you're going to be prioritizing people with good penalty kicking slash good finishing. Why are you putting Gigan in there? Composure, 7-7. Seven, seven. It's going to be fine. Craig McGuffey, not as high as I... Well, his penalty is lower, but it's... Hmm. I, I'm going to trust that this is probably fine. I don't know. Oh, my God, you guys. I don't want... Our bet, Fred, <sighs> championship to come down to penalties after everything we did. That actually hit the goalkeeper, but he couldn't clear it. You could have actually denied their first shot from probably their strongest penalty taker. Okay, Jamie Thomas. Jamie Thomas. Jamie Thomas. Jamie Thomas. Nice. Okay, all right, all right, all right. 1-1 one, one on penalties. Go, 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 go. Come on. Just block one. Block one. Block one. Block one. He's tired. He doesn't got anything. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Penalty denied. Penalty denied. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, our people are pretty tired and not all that great either <laughs> at, at, at taking all these penalties. Andy Gagan. Andy beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him. Yes! Okay. We are up one. We are up one. Thank you, Andy. I love you so much, despite all the times I've yelled at you for getting red cards. Irvine gets it in. I mean, we're still ahead by one. If they, if they miss two, we'd be going crazy. It's very easy for us to miss, to miss another. Lammy, good with his head, not as much with his feet. Can you get the penalty? Can you get it? No! No! And just like that, it's 2-2. Two -two. It's 2-2. Two -two. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, geez. Come on. All right. Clayne, can we get another block? Oh, my God. That is the poorest penalty I've ever seen. And just like that, if, if uh, Robbie Crawford can get it in here. Okay, just like that, we're ahead. Only one shot left from each. If they miss this one, we win. If they miss this one, we win. Stockley got a lot of energy. He's pretty fresh. Might be creative here. He gets it in. Okay. If we get this in, we win. Who's it all come down to? 
Ebu Adams. Ebu Adams, one of our great ball-winning midfielders. Can you score? No, it's going to go to additional penalties. Number six on the list. I'm going to die. All right, this shinny guy. Great at crosses, but can he deliver? Oh, he does. Oh, he does. No pressure. No pressure. I think that's Craig McGuffey. Craig McGuffey, whose who's scoring is not as good as his raw speed. It all comes down to you, buddy. It all comes down to you. No! 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 Why? Why? Outshoot them two to one. Have an almost 20% edge on possession. Clear caught chances again and again and again. I, I can't yell at them. Extremely delighted. Ah. Uh, I, you know, in day, we took a much bigger team the distance. They much bigger. I mean, remember, our average salary, our average value is like 22K, and there's like 800K. The players can be proud of themselves. Oh, heartbreaking. I really would have loved to take one of these cups um, in our final season of running Air United here. The Guffy vows to end gold drought. 38K which will be distributed to the players. Our team's exhausted. I mean, we've got another game in three days, and that's after extra time. Like, we are going to be really running some B-teamers over here in the next match. Now, we, we are still in a competition. We're still in the Scottish Cup over here. Um, we're expected to reach the fifth round. We were only expected to, quote-unquote, be competitive in the Betfred Cup. Whatever that means, I still don't know, but the, the board seems to be... Um, relatively pleased with that so that's going to be okay maybe we can maybe we can do really well in the scottish cup we'll see how that goes um and again if we can end up 10th or above in the premiership we're going to consider that a huge win the team will consider it a win the board will consider that a win um you know i guess this is a pretty wide mid table i don't know if this is all considered to be mid table but if we end up fourth i mean people are going to be pretty pleased i, I don't expect us to end up fourth overall um but maybe we can keep going um i mean we've only played six games out of uh i guess this would be 36 again uh or 33 actually because so i think we meet each team three times and there's 11 other teams so yeah 33 i suppose something like that oh uh, we could you know i'm sure we could check but oh uh, damn all right well we don't do the scottish cup for some time and it's only fourth round um we're expected to at least reach the fifth yeah, we'll see how that goes. I don't know what our next game will be. We'll probably be fast-forwarding a fair amount of time over here um, and and meet up with you guys again. That is heartbreaking. I mean, again, I, I feel like the team did well. I mean, geez. I still feel like we should have sold Craig McGuffey last season, but at the same time, it was nice to have him come to the distance. That would have been so much money for us, though, for a club that continues to struggle a bit financially. <laughs> ah, thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.